In the mid-2000s, Chantel came home from working in triple Michelin star rated eateries in London to join her parents, building a family hotel in Eelandsfontein. Here she opened her first restaurant called Mosaic, and within four months she'd won her first fine dining award. As a Joe Burger, I was so excited when you announced as number two at the Eat Art Awards. Did you expect that? The thing is, there's so many talented chefs in the country and everyone is really doing such a wonderful job uh, cooking innovative, creative and really interesting food. So we were really, really surprised. Why did you choose to go with that Moroccan and Parisian style? Well, we wanted to create something that would merge with the, the African countryside. And because um, Africa and the Orient all used to be part of the same continent, we wanted to, to link up those creative feelings. But my mum always loved the, the more architecture, a little bit of the Orient, so traveling to the Far East and then collecting pieces that we could exhibit in the hotel. So a lot of what you see around the silks are from India, which was handpicked. So both incredibly opulent, but merging into one another. You have an absolutely beautiful garden. Do you get to use some of the flowers and herbs in your kitchen? We do, and what I wanted to do is to create an informal type of garden. So we have interspersed in between all the, the formal gardening, my edible herbs and flowers. But on top of that, I also wanted to support the, the local farmers. So I have five different farmers within a 30 kilometer radius that supplies Mosaic on a daily basis with really fresh, organic produce. Chantelle's take on modern cooking with a botanical touch has just won her the vote of chefs, culinary experts and food writers from across the world. It's about feeding all the senses. So what makes these special? Well, the agapanthus is very peppery, so it's almost like adding rocket to the salad. Oh, lovely. But it's very refreshing, and it's almost got a little bit of a spiciness, a zingy. Oh, I love that. So what are we going to use these for? This is going to go in the Song of the Sea, so a really beautiful creation with salmon. But I cure the salmon in my own home-brewed kombucha tea. Ooh, yum, I can't wait to taste. So we don't spray the garden, so it's all organic and very, very nice to use. Awesome. Yeah. Here we go. Quietly going about her business in her country garden and kitchen, Chef Dartnell beat competition from double and triple Michelin star rated chefs in Spain, France and the United States by boldly going where others hadn't. So these right. are the New Zealand rock lilies that I told you about. Ah. And I experimented with them because the roots are edible, the bulbs are edible, but there's no reference to the flowers. Right. So I popped one in my mouth and it was actually, it tastes like a raw green bean. Wow. But obviously I'm still around, so it was <laughs> incredibly safe to eat. They built the hotel on the farm Chantel was raised on. Her father, Kurba Startnell, enjoyed a favorite French bistro in Pretoria, where his daughter picked up her fascination with food and hospitality. Her mother, Marie, has been a strong but feminine role model, whose example has helped her thrive in a tough, male-dominated industry. You collect art. Is that something that you do together? This is most fun to go to the auctions and see what they have, on, uh, of course, on, on auction. and to go and actually visit and see the paintings and what the prices they, they will fetch. But that is something that we both love, art. And <laughs> it's more mom and daughter time. Well, the thing is because of the museum, you know, we need to build up the collection and, and it's just fun to source items and paintings that, that is really close to our heart. We only collect pieces with passion. You must be so proud of everything Chantal's achieved. I'm very privileged to be actually working with her. I was going to help out for two months and it's been 11 years later. <laughs> so I'm still helping out. So and she's really the main privilege. reason why we've been able to achieve this. Having the maitre d' of her stature on the floor is, is where the magic lies. Recognizing talent is another of Chef's many skills. Overseeing a cellar of 75,000 bottles of wine, award-winning sommelier Moses Maguaza was recruited in-house, though from an entirely different department. Where did it start for you, Moses? This very place, uh, when I first met this family uh, like, uh, 13 years ago, while well, I started working as a gardener. You know, progressed from the garden and went to the hotel working as a porter. After that, we moved again to the restaurant. So it was just baby steps, you yeah. know. And uh, the journey started there. What would you say you love most about working alongside somebody like Chantel, who's the best in the world? We have this experiment every time on Tuesday. So if uh, every time when she plans a dish, and uh, we have to come up with, uh, she will 
tell us the ingredients actually. I have this dish I want to do and I have one, two, three, four, five ingredients. So we have to work in your head and then choose a wine and then we sit on the table, taste the dish and the wine and then to see if the ingredients really goes with the dish. It's something very, very exciting. With wines from across the globe, Moses has a highly educated nose. So this is actually what we will be serving with the salmon dish that we're going to prepare Lovely. upstairs. Oh, you're so, so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with the best, OK? So the, today's bragging rights are all like on a thousand. So Instagram, social media, you better watch out. <laughs> The white wine Moses chose was paired with a dish combining crystallised seaweed, shemaji mushrooms, oyster leaf and cured Scottish salmon. Together with other ingredients, Chantelle calls this her song of the sea. So tell me something, when you go to a restaurant and you're going out with friends, are you very niggly about the food or do you just kind of allow the chef to take you on a food journey? I love somebody else cooking for me, so I just sit back, relax and enjoy every moment. Okay. So I'm going to give you artistic freedom. Go, go to the memory of, right. of sitting on the beach. Okay. The ocean, the waves have come in and you have that little deposit on the beach okay. where you have little pieces of seaweed, little right. pieces of sticks, little, little pieces of shell. Okay. Okay? And that is the tableau that you are creating. Excellent. So sit on the beach. For sand, you arrange this tide of wasabi crumble. And for the taste and scent of the ocean, a seaweed cream cheese. All right, and now you can literally start building your gardens right. around. So it's almost like table decorating in a yes, way. Yes, it right. it's exactly okay. that. Cool. But it needs to be in balance and harmony. And you need to consider that you're having this dish along with eight others. I've always wanted shape cheeses. <laughs> and today, it's like Cinderella has found her cheeses. I'm so excited. This is so cool. Yeah, Thank so you. You can absolutely use mine. Lorna was having trouble, but in front of the best woman chef on all seven continents, you don't blame your tools. Gosh, guys, so there's the art of plating and then there's a the tricky art of using yeah. tweezers. The very thing I wanted to use so much is the very thing that's giving me problems. You just really want to have that a little bit of accent. Yeah, you're actually right, with a bit of this, the colours just looking amazing. Vibrant, vibrant, vibrant. Well, I think for a first try, you're doing really, really well. Girl. Really well. Thank you. You're being very kind. And this? So, oh, also, as also well. just a little bit. Sure, and it's a really, do you know what it is, guys? Everything here is intricate and it's thought about. <laughs> it, this is not a uh, kid's play. What you need to think about is now being the customer, the plate arrives in front of you yeah. and you're taking a bite. So you want everything that the guest must have right. in a bite all together. Because it's all about what is the chef telling you. Okay, and okay. so what happens The now? chef is telling you now we put on the fresh flowers. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> the Agapanthus brings a fresh peppery spice, not to mention the beauty of the flower. And with that, the dish is ready to be served. That looks beyond amazing. Guys, this is the difference between the best chef in the world and an amateur. But I've learned so much. My mouth is salivating because now I know what everything kind of tastes like individually. I just want to have this together. Okay, well, I'll have yours and you can have mine. I will not make you succumb to such things, <laughs> yes. but at least you've got good ingredients, so it's a good start. There we go. <laughs> Since winning her latest award, Chantelle has received many calls of congratulations from international chefs whose restaurants she's eaten in as well as foreign guests wanting to visit her famous restaurant. <laughs> wow. It's I'm actually speechless. You know when they talk about balance of flavour, just enough of everything just to... Mm. Oh, wow. I am in food heaven. Mm. They've opened the doors and the angels are saying, can you feel it? <laughs> well, thank you very much. I think they have a That's bit a of a wonderful voice. compliment. <laughs> You've achieved so much, not only locally, but internationally as well. Where to from here? Well, as I always tell my team, you know, we're not here to, to work for the awards. If they come, it's the most gratifying experience. And we're all extremely happy and we celebrate. But at the end of the day, it's about making every single customer that comes to the restaurant ecstatically happy. So it's about creating those memories and making every special moment just more memorable for the rest of your life. And that's what we'll focus on. 
there's nothing that excites me more than seeing women not only thrive locally, but also internationally. I think Chantal has definitely captured nature on a plate with a perfect blend of some white wine. I'm definitely rooting for Mosaic to be number one in the world. Cheers to that. Cheers. Cheers.